Hello everyone, this is Chao Wang from University of Science and Technology of China. It is my honor to introduce our work, Variable Interval Time Sequence Modeling for Career Trajectory Prediction, Deep Collaborative Perspective. Our work is collectively done by University of Science and Technology of China, Baidu Talent Intelligence Center, and Stony Brook University. Here is the outline of my presentation. I will first introduce the background of our problem, then I will give the data description in our study. Next, I will introduce all the details of our proposed solution framework called TACTP. Then, I will show you our experiments and case studies. The last is the conclusion. Let's start with the background. Nowadays, job changes have become quite frequent. It is more important than ever to understand the career trajectory of talents. Traditional methods are mainly based on empirical analysis. Recently, people have witnessed the rapid development of professional social networks, such as LinkedIn, which is involving data-driven solutions. There are many challenges for career trajectory prediction. First, it is very difficult to capture the state changes for talents with variable intervals. And thus, we should consider the interval between every two jobs as an important factor not only for sequential modeling, but also for prediction. For example, in the right figure, Alice and Bob have a similar starting point of careers, but very different choices for job transitions. An effective forecasting method should be capable of estimating the influences of different working durations as well as the most likely time point for job hopping. Importantly, we summarize three key aspects in career trajectory planning. The right timing for job hopping, the right company for job application, and the right job position. None of the existing works aim to address all the three prediction tasks in a unified manner. To this end, we propose a hierarchical time-aware career trajectory prediction framework, namely TACTP, for jointly solving all the aforementioned problems. Let's go into the next section, data description. The real-world dataset was collected from LinkedIn, one of the most famous commercial PSNs. It has sold hundreds of millions of users to share their career experience and professional resume. The time span of the career path data ranges from 1988 to 2018. We filled out the companies with very few job records and the users with less than 4 job records. To better understand the dataset properties, we present the distributions of career trajectory records from different wheels in the right figure. In our experiments, we set a time window as a half year for the duration. The maximum time value is 21, which means all the working duration larger than 10 years were classified into one category. It is interesting to observe the periodicity of durations, which shows the number of durations in all the half years are larger than even half years except for the first year. The description of all the used features is given in the table. There are mainly two aspects of information, static and time varying features. They can be further classified into three categories, categorical data, numerical data, and textual data. Now, let's introduce our TACTP framework. First, we introduce the problem formulation of the career trajectory prediction task. Given a sequence of job records for talent, Along with the corresponding feature sequence and length, our goal is to predict the next job transition for talent, including company, position, and duration. First, I will give an overview of our proposed TACTP framework. We employ the idea of a collaborative filtering to factorize the job sequence records into latent vectors in a shared low-rank space. Specifically, TACTP could be divided into two stages, namely modeling stage and prediction stage. First, 
The modeling stage jointly constructs deep understandings for talent, company, position, and time vectors. Then, we combine these latent vectors to produce predictions for the three tasks in the prediction stage. Career modeling process can be further classified into three parts. The first is temporal encoding, which transforms the raw time values into latent continuous space and combines them with input talent features by an adaptive time perception layer. Here we introduce two implementations for deriving continuous time representations. To avoid increasing model complexity, manually specified approach chose to use predetermined representations. For example, we can draw the approach of positional encoding employed in the well-known sequential model, transform, to use sine and cosine functions with different frequencies. Since the artificially designed representations may not occur with the real-world data relations, jointly learning approach chooses to learn the latent representations through the model learning. After getting the time representations, we need to combine them with the user information for producing time-aware input. Since the timing of job hopping for talent is not only depend on the current durations, but also job states and working seniorities. We design an adaptive time perception layer to obtain individually customized time-aware representations. The time perception layer takes three input vectors, F, D, and S, representing a talent's current job information, working duration, and seniority, respectively. The second part of modeling stage is the sequential modeling process, which produces dynamic talent profile information through recurrent neural networks. Let us take LSTM as an example in the figure. The often latent talent states are synthetical representations. We need to further specify the talent states from different perspectives. And in the third part, we map the talent states to separated latent vectors, representing three perspectives, company, position, and time. We choose the multi-layer perception networks as the embedding networks. Let's take talent company vector as an example. Similar to talent company vector U, we also obtain the latent talent position vector W and talent time vector X with similar network architectures. After modeling talents, we then need to construct the latent company and position vectors for using collaborative filtering. We also learn the dynamic latent company representations from company embedding networks. The network architectures are similar to the above equations. As for position vectors, since positions are much steadier and usually not vary with time, we can employ time-independent latent position vectors with Gaussian parallels. In the prediction stage, we finally combine the above-discussed latent factors to produce the final prediction results. For predicting the next company, we first need to inject temporal information into talent company vectors. Since the time factor is an important element for career movement, we first use one linear layer to transform the time vectors into the same space of talent vectors. Then, we can adopt the time perception layer to obtain the time aware latent vector. Notice that in the training process, we input the time vector D according to the real working duration. Differently, in the test process, we can input varying duration values instead of the real working durations to gain different time-aware talent vectors. This is especially important when we do not know the ground truth of the duration of a current job. A natural approach is to input our predicted working duration. For predicting the working duration of the current job, we can use a single hidden layer and the loss function can be given like this. 
For predicting the next company, we adopt collaborative filtering to get the final job transition probability. Then, we can give the loss function by the cross entropy form. For predicting the next position, the prediction process is the same as predicting the next company. We also add the regularization term to prevent model from overfitting problem. Finally, we have the whole objective function like this. Then, let's come to the experiments. We aim to validate our proposed method on the three career trajectory prediction tasks. Providing the right timing for job hopping, identifying the right company for job application, and matching the right position for the candidate. The overall prediction performance for three tasks is shown in the table. Here, we applied three different implementations of TACTP framework using RNN, GRU, and LSTM respectively. We can find that TACTP LSTM achieves the best performance on all the three tasks. Notice that TACTP-P is a variant of TACTP, where we input the predicted working durations instead of the real working durations in the prediction stage. It also produces similar results to TACTP, which demonstrates that with the predicted working durations, our TACTP framework is still able to achieve good performance. We also discussed the different approaches for handling time factor vectors in our proposed TACTB framework. We compile the following variants and show the performance in the table. We can find that jointly learning approach always outperforms manually specified approaches. Then let's show some case studies. We present the heat map of the Euclidean distances among the latent time vectors obtained by manually specified and jointly learning approaches. Interestingly, we can observe the sawtooth tendency for the Euclidean distances among the latent time vectors in jointly learning approaches. This phenomenon is exactly in accord with the right figure, which shows that Talents change their jobs more frequently in all half years than even half years. Our TACTP framework is able to learn a unique latent vector for each position. The largest similarity between two latent position vectors would imply more chances for talents to change their jobs between these two positions. Here, we show the top three positively related and negatively related positions to some target positions. For example, we can observe that the most related position to sell is market. On the other hand, talents in research, legal, and quality assurance are not likely to transfer to sell. We can also use the latent company vectors for company clustering. Finally, we come to the conclusion. We proposed a novel time-aware career trajectory prediction, TACTP, for jointly predicting the three key elements in career trajectory, timing, company, and position. A unique core perspective of TACTP is that we can generate time-aware predictions according to the varying duration of the current job, owing to our proposed temporal encoding mechanism. We conducted extensive experiments on real-world data to demonstrate the effectiveness of TACTP. We also show the interpretation power of TACTP by some case studies. Thanks for your listening.